Isaac did give Esau a blessing, but it was not to be fulfilled until the last days when all is put in its proper place. Esau, like people, will now have the proper respect for God. And Jews will have the proper respect for others. Esau God hated because he represents people who don't put God first. People that don't put God first are considered wicked. God rejected Esau, so when he returns to the respecting of God, as it should, all people scattered will be blessed in it. Esau represented a whole world that takes God for granted. By not having the proper respect for God, everything Esau had was worth nothing and is continually destroyed. When people become like Jacob and will even fight with God himself for the blessing God gives, then God will straighten everything out. I have laid claim to the blessings God can give for us, and I will not let go until he gives them. We must all demand the blessings of God and must not stop demanding until we receive. A godless land is a wicked land. Its people will always be under God's wrath. This is God power not people power. By God destroying all ungodliness, He is being magnified everywhere in the world. God is the God of everywhere. God gave Jacob the firstborn blessing because they knew he would treasure it. God knew when all treasured the firstborn blessing, all is perfect. Israel must realize that they are not better because they have the firstborn blessing, but servants to all, because only by the grace of God were they given it. Israel must realize that God could easily crush them if they take him for granted, just as he crushed Esau for not valuing his birthright and blessings. God will turn all godless governments into wasteland. Your way of life is worthless. And any claim to it is like taking from Satan. 
Everything ungodly is left in ruins. Try to rebuild, and I will demolish again. You are being led out of the wicked land. Do not try and return to that wilderness where there is no longer rain and has become the habitation of demons. When all people say, Great is the Lord, then the destruction will be complete. The end decreed is when all people say, Great is the Lord. All saying, Great is the Lord will cause God to pour out the blessing of heaven on all who live on the earth. I think we can save all people. Only the devil would make us think perfection is not possible. And he isn't around to do that. Satan may not be around, but some of his children are. When Esau gets his heart right, and Jacob is willing to share, then the blessings are fulfilled. God took Esau's blessing away to display his power. God took our blessings away for a while so we would truly turn to him and he could show his power. Esau's blessing is to be fulfilled as a spiritual one. When Esau becomes like Jacob, and Jacob becomes like Esau. Then shall come the blessing. I am no longer godless, but you all are. Now is the end and the restoration of all things. I treasure my birthright, and now you must all serve me. The Church of Jesus Christ now knows they are the firstborn, so all must serve them. The Church of Jesus Christ will not allow any to take their birthright. The sons of Jacob and the sons of Ishmael have all become like Esau and denied their birthright of being the sons of God. This Esau has realized what I had lost, and I want it back. My spirit cries for it. 